Okay, this video is going to be really, really short. Basically, uh, MAME version 0.175 has been released, and they have made a change to add an extra option to the vector smoothing, I think it is, some vector setting. Now, I don't have any vector games, and uh, and I'm still on the old MAME 174, and if I played vector games, then I'd probably upgrade to 175 to check out that new setting. But since I don't play vector games, I'm not really worried about upgrading at this point. But I have been asked about vector settings, and even though I didn't play vector arcades in the old days because I didn't start playing arcade games until early 90s, and by that time there were no longer any vector games in the local arcade. So I don't have experience with the way vector is supposed to look, but I went ahead and grabbed a vector game, the Star Wars game. And using my current settings that are really great for all the raster games, I noticed, ooh, I just know this doesn't look right. Even though I didn't play vector games in real life, I just, there's something about this I can tell is just not working for vector games. So I started researching it. Uh, vector games didn't have scan lines, it's supposed to have a certain amount of flicker, all kind of things. And even though I'm not the expert on vector games, I figured I'd go ahead and put together some settings just to hold me over, you know, or to help anybody, you know if it helps I don't know so I went ahead and did uh, a vector setting just for the only vector game I have Star Wars but you know if you have a couple vector games you might want to just make a vector dot any and uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and restart MAME my kids are really excited in the background anyway so let's see what it looks like now remember how dark and flat it looked a minute ago there we go. See how it's glowing and everything? The Phosphor Life, for some reason, is messed up. Phosphor Life isn't supposed to be like that. Let me go look at the Phosphor Life. The blooms. Persistence. Yeah, what is it doing on 0.65? Something wrong with that any, sorry. It's supposed to be on, like, 0.15. Okay, and that's just, how, like, the ghosting effect or whatever. Like I said, I didn't play vector games, you know, I'm too young for that. I'm only in my 30s, and by the time I started playing games, it was all raster games in the arcades. So, I don't know what it looked like, but I've seen it in movies and on video, and I mean, that's not really that great, but it gives me some idea. Basically, from what I can tell, it was just extremely glowy. So all I did was crank bloom all the way up, and crank, I left everything default except for I crank bloom all the way up, and I put like a little bit of ghosting 0.15 on the per phosphor persistence. I left the floor black um, and I left all these colors the same. Um, I did increase saturation whenever I get to it. Come on. Uh, a blur, I think it might be better to blur it up a little. I don't know. So let's blur it up a little. Um, my borders are the same. Um, I don't really change anything there. It's supposedly had shadow mask. I read like some Wikipedia But I left it the same now the attenuation length. I got this from somebody else But it looks crazy to me like they say to max it out or something um, These are settings I got like in some forum just to try because I don't have any idea what vector should look like you know what I mean? So, if you think these look cool enough, I mean, you can go ahead and try these settings out. Minimum 1.4, a little bit of flicker. I don't know, man. <laughs> but anyways, I don't. I didn't see contrast. I mean, um, I didn't see which one. Look, oh, saturation. I went through. There it is, saturation. Uh, just a bit of saturation. But anyways, there's there's, there's some settings here that I figured might kind of work but I'm not somebody who would really know how vector graphics are supposed to look but let's see what it looks like in motion real quick use the force Luke I can't even hear it now where's the volume oh it's coming out of my Bose speakers and not my headset so I guess you guys can hear it but I can't hear it seems like this gun is a little sluggish Let's go to analog 80 stick auto center. Let's crank that up. Uh, auto center and crank that up. Maybe the digital speed can go up just a bit too. I like the sensitivity kind of low though. Let's see if that's yeah, a little bit better. Still kind of slow, but 
It's very glowy. Very, very glowy. It's probably too glowy. I'm sure uh, this is overkill or something. But I've never in my life played an actual vector game on the genuine hardware, so I wouldn't know. But I just know that it looked way too flat and lifeless before. Now it's probably too glowy, so I'd probably want to take the bloom and bring it down a hair, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Wait till another one of those laser blasts come out of it. Oh, well, shoot. I was supposed to blow the Death Star already? Damn. Alright, I'm gonna say let's turn that bloom scale down just a bit. From max down to something where you can make out the definition maybe in the laser there. Because I would have to imagine, even though I haven't played on the actual hardware, I'd have to imagine that you would be able to probably make out the detail inside of something like that sparkly laser blast there. Otherwise, they wouldn't have took the time to like draw any detail in it. So I'm going to go down as low as I can to see like the maximum amount of detail in it. And then I'm just going to start cranking it up until I start losing that amount of detail, I guess. And that's probably about right. Okay, look at there's a maximum amount of detail already there, but it looks so flat and lifeless now. So there's uh, the difference between the red and the pinks in the center of that laser blast. I'm gonna turn up until they just kind of fade into nothingness almost, like which is already happening. So really, you'd probably want to use if you were like a purist, you'd probably be using something low like a 0.275, something like this it gives you some glow, but you can still make out. The, you know the definition but it just I don't know to me I'm like again I don't know what vector games should look like but I just assume in my mind that they should be really glowy like everything drawn on the screen should look like it's glowing so I just keep wanting to go full cheese mode and crank it up to a ridiculous amount and before I had it on maximum so how about as a sacrifice instead of maximum I'll put it on like 0.1 like ha or 1.0 or whatever so it's half what I was using, but it's still glowy as hell, so that ought to be satisfying, you know what I mean, for people who want it to glow like mad crazy, like me, just lunatics like myself. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can blow up the Death Star. The force is with you, always. Trust your feelings. I've lost R2. I have you now. Come on, where's it? Oh, there it is. I missed it. No. <laughs> I can't hear any audio, so that, I don't know. I'm going to blame it on that. It's too quiet. I can't hear any audio. Now, really, it's because I haven't fine-tuned the sensitivity of my stick. So, as you can see, it's hard for me to hit anything. I think it's returning to center too fast. And I think maybe I put the speed too high at 60. It probably should be like 50. Nah. Might be able to get it this time at least. I never whoa, I never played this game before. There we go. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Alright, so this is obviously not my area of expertise playing around with vector settings, but I don't know. For other people as young as myself or younger that also wouldn't know what to set vector settings to, maybe some of those settings are helpful. Have a good one.